It is almost 50 degrees outside. The snow is all melted. It's not raining. The wind isn't blowing and the sun is shining. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going outside. Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. And like I said, it is beautiful outside right now. It's still quite cold, but hey, when it's nearing 50 degrees here in Michigan and the weather is just nice, we take what we can get. So today's video is the second installment of my Style With Me series that I have started here on my channel. The first video, which was the intro to the series, I will link down below in case you guys didn't check it out and you are new to my channel. Now what I've asked you to do is to come along with me on this journey and help me pick out things that I'm going to decorate or do small renovations in my house with and you have input on what I actually do. And for the first one, it is my powder room. Now, I did a tour of the powder room in the first video, so make sure you check that out so you know everything that I'm talking about. And then I gave you ideas on what I wanted to do with the things that I wanted to change. And I got a few questions that I'm going to answer right now that I didn't answer in that video because it didn't occur to me, I guess. So the first question was, what is my actual style? So I live here with my boyfriend Chad and he has specific style for things that he likes. He is very contemporary. He likes sleeker and more put together and I don't know, contemporary things. And my style is basically modern, eclectic. I know it sounds kind of weird, but what it is is I like a modern themed kind of style stuff like that is not exactly um new but like it can be a piece that's vintage looking but it has a modern theme to it or something like that or pieces that are just any style that's where the eclectic comes in that fit into my house so chad normally does not ever complain about the things that i purchase or how i style the house he doesn't have much input on most of it except for his office and he likes everything because i like contemporary stuff as well Basically, we've kind of agreed that our style is kind of comfy. As long as it's comfortable and we can live in it and not feel like, oh, you can't touch this or, you know, this is too frou-frou for us, we're good with it. So any kind of style that you guys have that you think that might fit in my home, please tell me. I like everything. I like craftsmen. I like farmhouse. I like um, glam. I like traditional. I like French country and stuff. I just may not have the big pieces in my house that are that, but to decorate, there's no right or wrong for me. If I like the piece and I want it in my home, I'll bring it in and find a way to make it work. Second question that I have is people, a lot of them ask me what color am I painting the walls? The walls are staying the color that they are. It's a soft white. It's just a neutral. It's just easy. I painted my vanity. It, you will see that in the other video. And so um, that's my pop of color in there. I'm not popping an accent wall or anything like that. And then the third question that I had was, what is my budget? Now, I said in the beginning of that video or somewhere in there that in 2018, I'm calling my budget-friendly decorating scheme. Like, I am going to recycle and repurpose things. I'm going to upcycle things. I'm going to thrift things and do the same thing with them. And then when it's all said and done, if I still don't find what I'm looking for or what I really want, I'm going to buy new. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to do my uh, hauls from places like Home Goods and stuff because God knows, you know, I can't stay out of the store. I love it. I will be there 24 seven. I just did a home goods haul. I'm just saying when it comes to putting together all of these spaces in my house, I will be trying to repurpose things that I have and use things over in a different way, maybe in a, even a different room before I just say, Hey, I don't like this. I'm going to just start and go buy something new. So those are the questions that I answered and I'm hoping if you have any other questions you will put them down in the comment section down below so I can get answers to those for you guys. But the first thing we are doing in this powder room are these picture frames and I will put a picture of them right here. 
I also uploaded this picture on Instagram so you guys can go over there and leave any comments about it. It is Lacey Space the same way that it is spelled here so that is super simple. And what I asked you guys is what color should I paint these frames because I'm going to repurpose them and use them in the same spot and just upcycle them some so they look a little different. Now the majority of you guys all said paint them black. I had a lot of people comment down below and I got a ton of emails and then a couple of people uh, showed me some stuff on Pinterest. Nobody actually said anything on Instagram, but I hadn't even posted the picture over there yet. So sorry about that. So I'm liking that idea to paint them black. I had a few people said paint them white and a couple of people said just brighten up the color and keep them the color of like the vanity that's in there, which is basically the color they are, but not matte. But I'm figuring if we're going to change them, we might as well change them and not just brighten them up and make them them a whole new color. So black it is. And if we get them painted black and we put them in and they look horrible, then we'll pick another color. We'll probably go to white. But I was figuring white on white walls, mm, not really. But you know, I could have like whitewashed them or something. We don't know. We're going with black to start with. Then they have mattings in them with the mat, without the mat. Easy choice. We'll put the mats in. If we hate them, we'll take them out. Easy to do. So the number one thing was what are we going to put in these frames? And I had quite a few people send me photographs of things to actually put them in. And I looked up and found a couple of things to put into the frames also. So I'm going to show you guys these and I've kind of narrowed it down and let you guys have say so and vote on what you think should go in the frames. So the first thing here are some black and white photos of some flowers and these are magnolia flowers. I made that suggestion in the last video that I was kind of in magnolias and I think these are really pretty, really airy. And so these are going to be your number one choice, magnolia flowers. And I will list that down in the uh, description bar below so you know that magnolia flowers are number one. Then someone said... Uh, here are some pictures of uh, some really pretty water lilies. So this is your choice for the water lilies. Now a lot of people did say pick your favorite flowers and put them in there and I my favorite flowers are roses and calla lilies and I have a ton of both of those already in my house. So I think I'm going to lean away from those. My main level here where I am in my living room has calla lilies in it all over the place. And then my upper upstairs has white roses, even though, as you see, there's white roses right there. And basically those got sat there because I moved some stuff around, but they are leaving soon because they don't belong in the living room. But they, they're, it's their nice little backdrop for this video. So I am not gonna do white roses either because they're basically upstairs. So any other flowers that I do will probably be good for the bathroom. Next, my girlfriend said, hey, look, I found these pictures. They are black and white photos with a pop of color. And so they are these with umbrellas in them. And I thought they were really, really cool, really interesting. I love the pop of color in it. And so this is going to be choice number three. And with that, I decided to look up black and white photos with a pop of color in them myself. And so I came up with this. These have hearts in them and it has two hearts because Chad and I's thing is two interlocking hearts most of the time. Though so even though these don't interlock, it's two hearts and it's always one heart bigger and one heart smaller to represent us. And I thought it was really, really nice. Now both of these pictures only had one heart in them, but I photoshopped them and I put the smaller heart in with the bigger heart and I think they're really cool. I don't know if they're bathroom worthy. I don't know if any of the ones I've showed you are bathroom worthy, but I know I'm probably going to use it somewhere in my house because I think they turned out really well. So that is choice number four. I think we are. And then someone sent me these beautiful pictures here, which are lanterns with flowers on them. And I just think that these are really lovely too. So that is choice number five. And then finally, I don't know why I love these pictures, but I think they are really cool looking. They're a close-up of some floral petals. I think it's either daisies, probably daisies, Gerber daisies, I don't know, with a pop of color of a raindrop on them. So that's going to be number six. 
So those are your choices. I am going to try to upload all of these pictures on Instagram so you can go over there and look at them again. Or you can just rewind this video and look at them again. And I'm going to write them all down in the description box. I want to know which ones you guys think will be best in the bathroom. I'm not going to tell you guys which one is my favorite. So then you have no bias. And I'm going to try to go with what you guys say. So that is it for this video. We will be moving along to the next thing once I paint the frames. It's nice enough outside for me to do that. So that I'm going to go do that next and put them together in the next video. You will be voting on which one I am going to keep once we put them up. And we will be moving on probably to either the window covering or the new rug for the floor. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you're not a member here at Lacey Space, I don't know why not. We have a lot of fun here. As you can see, your input is needed and definitely wanted. Go ahead, hit that subscription box, the subscribe button, and the little notification bell to make sure that you know when I'm posting another one of these videos. I'm going to be doing them like once a week give you guys enough time to look at it, make some decisions, go on and check stuff and send stuff to me. And then we'll move on to the next step. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. Like I said before, it's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here. And also my Pinterest is Lacey Space. All of that will be linked down in my description bar. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye loves.